What's up, Repro Bakes? This is APBT Spank Tutor. Spank and Austin is Abaya Eber, the full blown Yahuma. And today, I'm back here today uh, to bring you another one of Spank Tutor's true pedigree viewings. And I'm, um, we have a little bit better of a breakdown of um, the pedigree of my um, my boy, Pal Razor. And um, I give you a little bit of breakdown of it. Like I told you in the previous video, you're gonna have to know how to read a pedigree on this because the reason being is this dog is heavily scatterbred, but the basis of his pedigree is Heavy Red Boy, Red Boy Jocko, and Wood Snooty. After that, it's Scatterbread, best of the best, best to best, best to best, best to best. So this is some old school official blood, and it's really best to best, best to best. So I'm gonna get into it a little bit more in depth, as, you know. But like I say, you're gonna have to know how to read a pedigree on this one because this dog is heavily scatterbred best to best you have everything in this pedigree from snake man's pedro just like i told you from snake man's pedro to um heavy garter breeding Cottingham's, fat bills dead eyes fat bills bolero and so much more so much more best of the best this is best of the best bread best of the best Y'all always say best of the best, but this what this, what this what this is. So let's get to it. Let me see, can I get to the pedigree itself? Um, let's see, can I get to it? So they're coming. Is the name of the pedigree, and this is Spanx Power Razor. He is under the Bonafide Kennel Club Registry. That was started by the late great Carl Mims. NC is the game. And um his wife, Judy Mims, if I said her first name correctly, is doing an excellent job on carrying on the tradition of the pedigree and the line even the, the line of dogs that he started. So she's a good dog lady herself. So we can start out showing you this is off of Max Williams and Hyena Williams. So that's Max as a little puppy, puppy. And we'll go to Hyena Williams. She's also a little puppy, puppy. That's what her pedigree look like to start out with. That's what his pedigree looks like to start out with. So we'll go back to the back of the pedigree while in and off of it. I'm gonna touch some more emphasis on some of this Poland um, NC blood. Don't sleep on Miss Poland. Don't sleep on her. I'ma tell you why. I'ma show you why. I'm sleep on her now. Don't sleep on her. She has some good stuff in here. Like I said it's heavy cotton bullet. And the, it's a heavy bullet dog. On top side, heavy Molly B dogs. Well, heavy Molly B dogs are a part of this, incorporated into this to create this fine animal. So it comes through Lupase's bullet two for the Cod's bullet. And also we're gonna be exploring more to the Molly B uh, in this pedigree and the um Hubert and the uh, other uh sires that were uh, owned by famous dog man that were able to breed into her before she came up missing off of Edward Bass's yard. No, Hargrove's yard. Mr. Hargrove's yard. So we're just going back into that a little bit. Like I said, this dog is heavy, heavy cops bullet. And I stress that a lot because uh, he was a good dog. NC is the game. NC is the game. I'm gonna go ahead and get into it right now. Now reprobate. You repeat after me. NC is the game. 
NC nose game because, fill in the blank, reprobate, you can do it. NC nose game because that's right, reprobate. Reprobates. NC is the game. To the basis of uh, the dog. Well, I can say the basis, the um, I could say the star of this pedigree with uh, Cos Bullet was uh, Trahan's rascal. Well, I would say the foundation dog, the key foundation dog. He's Trahan's rascal. Goes back so far. Some of the stuff is unknown. But it's Corvino. It's Corvino. It's off Corvino. Corvino's Brad out. Was a part of the making of that dog. It's the Brad out way. I wonder. He hasn't missed it. Fourteen time winner. That was AKA Armitage Brad out and Evans Dillinger. He was off of Kobe Blood. You kinda of figured that when you hear Armitage's name. thinking that's uh I don't know if that's Joe Corvino I don't think that's Joe Corvino it may be I'm thinking it's Charles Pitkin I've seen the picture of Joe Corvino um I don't know if that's him or not he looked kind of a, a smaller guy it's kind of short like he could have been under the uh height of 5'7 no more than 5'7 I'm just going to back up out of this. You hear it from again. Start from the Posse Rascal. So this dog is heavy cotton bullet. It's a cotton bullet dog. I just wanted to show you all that. I can't stress that enough cotton bullet uh Good NC dog. This is NC Blood Rocker. These are North Carolina dogs. These are North Carolina dogs. Alright. Alright. And we already went over this dog. I'm just showing it. Just getting into it a little bit more. See a couple of the bronze dogs. It's old. I'm a little bit too much. But. We know those dogs are real, real. Browns, that's really old stuff. So sometimes they didn't want you to see the rep uh the recipe. I told y'all it's heavy uh Hammonds in this dog. NC is the gang. So we all know about Roblox Joey. And we'll go back to Sparky. Let's see the name of that dog. Get these dogs they just do. Champions, Flowers, Sparky, three time winner, one time loser at game. Hammond Socks. It goes all the way back to uh, Alligator and his sister Susan Renee. She was more valuable as a ROM, so they let her do it one time as far as recording of it. Rest of mirror. Let you read it. You can't read, can't you, reprobates? And don't take it personal. If you're not a reprobate, then I'm not talking to you. But uh, if you know you're a reprobate, you just can't connect to the truth, then you can't um, decipher the difference between what right and wrong then you know what I'm saying you're, you're, you're pretty much a reprobate 
So everything that goes under that character characteristic of not even being able to decipher right or wrong or being able to connect with the truth says a lot. That's bad in itself. So we know little little mate I'll read it, I'll help you out. Little little mate sister of the great plumber's champion alligator dog and also dam of Gilman's champion diamond, champion ebony, champion spade, and Gilman's champion sister. She was a great dog once used for a cattle dog until she started killing them. Hmm, LOL. Interesting. Interesting. I didn't hear it by accident, but we're here now. We got that call for breathing in there, so. Damn a puma boomerang. This is Miss Spike. This is a lot of great dogs pedigree. This in this pedigree a lot of times. This is best of the best on top of best of the best times three. Let's back up out of here because we got a little, little ways to go. Crutchfield Adams R appears a lot of times in this dog's pedigree. God, so to me, said the dog kind of looks like Art the Hunt. Said looks more like Nigarino. Nigarino appears um, enough times in this pedigree, but he's starting to look like um, so many dogs. Man, he's real bred, gorgeous animal. He's a handsome little fella. Spanish power raiser. He looks like the boys' dogs as far as uh, Dirty Mary and uh, the Queen of Hearts. As far as like um, with the buckskin. Almost the same contrast, same head size and the flop ears. But that's another story. We all know about Cummins Dutch Boy. We got Bose, Goodrow's Trip. We look at this pedigree right here. We'll go out of. We got some Mayfield stuff with some Clayton Boudreau stuff. Let's back up out of here. Let's back up out of here. This is the Hammond uh, Eli Jr. Eli Dog. And these dogs are well bred. This is a well bred dog, a fine specimen. Being that they, um, you have the, uh, the Tudor line stacked in this. When it's all said and done, then you got some uh, Carver stuff too. You know, he played around with that too. And whatever else was uh hot to try, you know what I mean? Don Rest Maniac. Fine animal. He a happy little fella. He like he was ready to please. Go ahead on. Go ahead on, Maniac. And this is on the Debo side of them. Look at Davis' sister and we'll back up out of here. Off of, uh Midnight Cowboy. Heavy bullet sign bread dog. Take a look at Cowboy. Get him his just do. Alright. Alright. And we got um, like I said in the previous video, we got Alcido and Dawn Rest and um Top and bottom. So we got Woods Red Boy. We talked about him with my uh, my guy I purchased the dog with, but we gonna just go through this again. We got Stoney Jr. Heavy Laposse's bullet. You see that in here from previous uh a part of viewing. Laposse's bullet two. Pasta is civil, so you know that's gonna be uh we can have uh some Kobe stuff dealing with the pasta, we can have some Kobe stuff with that uh cotton bullet. The pasta is bullet was a uh, Kobe bred dog if I'm not mistaken. And you got and you see how the pasta is bullet too was bred. So like I said, this is a heavy uh the pasta is uh this is a heavy uh cotton bullet dog, the pasta bullet too. Through the Posse Bullet too. NC is the game. La Posse ended up in North Carolina, if not mistaken. He wasn't from North Carolina, but he eventually moved his yard and uh 
revamped his yard in North Carolina. And I think he did that when he was dealing with these Kobe's, these fine animals, this Till Sarge, Kobe's Primo Jr. Just hit on that pedigree if I could find it again. Ah, uh, I'm backed out of it. Oh, we can go back to it, but uh, what was it? Sybil, what was it? I lost it. You get my idea. Yeah, it's it's in part or was it blackboard? Yep, blackboard. I was gonna see Kobe Primo Jr. Yeah, I've seen this pedigree. They had a Kobe once. And one of my first dogs I started out with was a Kobe top and bottom. His name was Mussolini. We called him Moose for short. Mr. Elvis didn't tell you how he bred that. We don't got the information no longer available. Let's get up out of here, though. You, you catch my drift. Now we get interesting. We got Wildy Stoney Jr. This may not where I want to be, but we can go back anyway. We can go back up anyway. We got Wild Size Lucifer. Let's look at that real quick. This ain't where I would have wanted to be, but we got the, uh, we done bumped into the Nigarino through Kate's Cujo and Wild Size uh, Lucifer. Not mistaken, that's NC the game type stuff. I'm not gonna quote myself on it, but I'm, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. I'm I'm, I'm, I'm sure a reprobate would jump in the comments and correct me at any time. But uh, NC is the game. We still got the best of the best, best of the best in this pedigree viewing. Kate's cool, Joe. And Nigarino appears a lot of times in this pedigree on the bottom side and on this top side. And they said he was poisoned. Or died of natural causes. More than likely, the controversy of getting stolen and they're going back and forth over the dog. Probably was poison. And the Nigarino and Jeep dogs, uh, if I'm not mistaken, um, I think it's a splash of um, Kobe in here too, but we ain't here for that. We ain't here for that. There's a fine pup there. We got Case Cujo. Uh, the Case Nigarino Foundation dog was uh really Eli Jr. But really um it was an Eli Jr. dog. And like I said, bottom side Kobe. I know my Bulldogs. Bottom side Kobe, but the Foundation dog was uh he was off the Eli Jr. blood. But he was an uh, Adam and Crutchfield dog. Adam, Adam uh, Crutch, I mean, I'm sorry, Adam and Crutchfield art. Appears a lot of time this pedigree. Stomping all the Eli Jr. Basically, Eli Jr. dog, one of the best dogs produced by Eli Jr. Um, was Adam and Crutchfield's art. And they got a lot out of him. Now, let's go back. That's an Estonian dog that my man, like, we already did Emmett Scooter. But we just, we just show you how he looked. We already seen how he was bred. So this dog is loaded. This is a Carolina action pack. Be it still soon. Like I said, I ain't fucked up about it, though. <laughs> I definitely ain't fucked up about it. Do you blame me? Do you blame me? I ain't fucked up about it now. I get a good price on the stud. The stud lick, but um, I ain't fucked up about it. Dirty Donna.
She can bring a lot of dirty mirror. Well, she off a uh, damn off dirty mirror. I'm tripping. But yeah. Bread a little bit different on top. Brought the Boudreaux blood and uh, the Eli stuff. You see Clemens, Brandy, Ross Red Devil, and such. Ah. Right. You see the base of the stuff that you notice in the Thrills Bobby Jr. Hot Kayla's Oiler, five time winner. Let's go to Burke's uh, Smokey. Just for the hell of it. Come as Dutch, boy. We know, we know what this dog looks like. Well, I know I do. And most of the good game dog men do. But we know he was brave. He was a fine animal. Real brave. Good looking dog. We, we, now we all know they weren't brave for looks and beauty. But I mean, sometimes, you know, little nature pops out. You know, it is what it is. Breed the floor of Boudreaux. Arnold Cummings. Now, there's something that I need to be shown up in this. Oh, here we go. I know I was missing something. We can start from the beginning with Red Boy and work our way back. Keep an eye on the bottom side. We keep it by the, at the back. We got Edwards and Bass, Molly B. This is uh, Molly B, uh, top side. Um, was buried into this dog. And various dogs. Like I said, don't sleep on Miss Poland. Cause, uh, NC is the game. Damn it, she ain't get a piece to pop fuck with Molly B. Don't sleep on the Poland stuff. The other guy that I was talking about in the video, I don't know that top side. Sound like Uncle Ruckus. You knew it. You knew I was showing him this right here. Cause I wasn't fucked up about nothing. I had my boy on the way anyway. It was a bad Molly B. Now her pedigree don't show the pig, but I'm pretty sure in the other ones it does. No, no, it don't. It's a Molly B dog, though. It's out the uh, wood, stony stuff. Out of Woods, Red Boy. We got Hargroves, Rufus. We know what that's about. We know what Rufus is about. NC is the game. Hargrove from Duplin County. NC is the game. Woods, Red Boy. Alright, enough of that. Let's get into the mem stuff. Heavy mems uh, dogs in here. Here we got mems honey. Let me show you how this uh, wood snooty and rare boy stuff is stacked up in here for those who don't know. Start from Mims Lucius. Let's go all the way back. You see Carl Mims RP, NC Dog, man. NC is the game. His wife is still holding on strong with that bona fide kennel club. I might let him stand, but um, for what I'm trying to do, I'll probably have to uh, switch over. Come to find out dual registry, just switching over, it just sounds good. You ain't gonna have them on the two registries. But um be that as maybe we got Mims uh Lucas Lucius Lucius Lion, what is that Lucius? Lucas, Lucius, no, that ain't Lucius, Lucas, let's say Lucas. We we'll say Lucius, but I don't see no O in there. And I said it, but uh, I messed up on the first video. Um, and how as a high school freshman, I was an advanced comp and lit student. I mean, I was in advanced. I was took advanced competency and literature 
in ninth grade, it was an advanced course. It was a 12th grade course. So I took 12th grade English in ninth grade. I know as I said 12th grade twice, 12th grade and 12th grade. And I say a lot of things. I, I jumble over my words, stuff like that. Even when I was talking about that, uh, well, we didn't get into all that. We just, we just continue on with this one. We got wood snooty. Bread into here. But we got some heavy wood snooty, wood snooty. Like just wood snooty. We got the woods snooty. He should like to breed, um, if I'm not mistaken, wood snooty. Um, it's pretty much a carver dog. Let's check it out. And he was to breed the wood snooty. And yes, pretty much a carver dog. The way he did things, bred things, a carver dog. He brought bred a lot of wood snooty back into Bolio. So that was another popular breed in his too. So I don't really think he did a lot of Red Boy Jocko. I think his replacement for Red Boy Jocko or what he used in his formula was uh, Bolio. This dog is bottom side. Right here is heavy uh red boy with the carver uh with the carver um wood snooty on top. But I'm gonna show you some shit. This dude used to go crazy with uh snooty. Let's see can we get into some of that. Might not be in this part of the pedigree. Got Mims all through it. Go to the back of it. This is Mims creamy. Look at Mims jigs. Mr. Bulldog. He looked just like Gator almost. He probably just a little bit younger right there. Gator, Gator might have had a little bit better body than him. But, but it's probably a younger picture. It's a heavy red Bulldog. stuff while we in the area. This dog is heavily scattered bred, best to best. Best to best. He is a red boy, heavy red boy dog, red boy Jocko, and Wood Snooty. And when I get to these uh Mims breeders when he just piled on the, the Snooty, you'll see what I mean. It's a heavy Snooty dog. Let's go to Kevin's Roach. More Emmy Scooter. I told you that um uh, Emmett Scooter was uh, uh, more than that dog. This dog is uh, uniquely bred. And a lot of the dogs that made uh, Emmett Scooter or a part of that pedigree, you'll see all through this dog's uh, pedigree. So this is um, Kevin's Roach. Better to come, Donster. They got a hell of a name, don't they? It's a hell of a name. Let's look at Mims, honey. Oh, we ought to see that. This is Mims, salty, heavy wood, snooty. Ooh, snake. Butcher boy. Bear witness is named the, the greats, all in one pedigree. Hold on, there's two. Jimmy Boots, you know the story about that. He beat Benny Ball. After Benny Ball killed his uh, sergeant, which was, uh, which was, uh,
bully um bully son. I wouldn't have put my dog down if he wasn't ready. That dog wasn't ready. He did that for the game though. Bobby Hall, he did that for the game. He better than me. I would have paid a put forfeit of how it worked. I think the Howard's dogs are uh I'm not sure um if they're hens or dogs. Howard Hansel. Maybe I'm not sure. I see that a lot of pedigrees. One of these knowledgeable dog men to know the or with these reprobates who feel like they know everything with jumping around. Oh, this is the third man man. Yeah. This is Kevin's Roach. Let's look at Roach, check him out. So we're going to the Mims part now. Chocolate, white markings, red nose. Birthday 2002. I was still running around then. Action. I'm sorry. Vaughn's Zachariah, two time winner, one time loser. I told you, Dirty Mary appears a lot of time. My pedigree. This dog is well bred. Hike Keyless uh, Hike Keyless Eli the Third. Patrick's Red Baby Burns Hank. You know what it is with me. Severe game shit. Got that severe game shit. Well, let's get to more of this mem stuff. Well, they went, saw crazy eyes. I caught them dead eyes a couple of times. Maybe if I bump it to a week into this fat beard stuff and the Snake Man Pedro. Those that know NC is the game know that uh, Snake Man and Fat Beard done some um, damn good breeding together. I'm gonna look at Mims Honey again, just to look at him. Heavy red boy. On the big bubble breeder Mims. Red and white. Let's get Mims Moss while we send me backtrack in here. See what that pedigree look like. Who snake? We already seen this. Let's back up out of here. Ah, right. we already seen Kevin Roach. Oh, we'll look at him again though. Just for the record, we're a bread fine dog. Mims, Mims breeding. All the Mims blood, Mims blue stuff. Look at Dope, he got a big hound over here. <laughs> I know he got a horror bite. <laughs> oh, bad. Let's look at Lily. We'll go ahead and back up out of here. Got Mims case one time lose that game. You know how I say, I'm gonna say one time lose that game. You dig? It just sounds, it just sounds right. Heavy Red Boy dog. We got Bass's Cleo. That's in the termite stuff. I might be wrong. NC is the game. Shout out to Mr. Period. Carolina Kennels. Mm, something I want to get into. Something I want to get into. I don't want to go too far ahead of myself. We already went to that. Let's look at that last one right there, though. It was China Book. That's how he was bred. That's his full generation. That's not what I'm looking for, though. Hmm. Let's see. Maybe it's here. Nope. Let's see something here. Let me see what part of the pedigree I'm in.
Here we go. Install here. Bow Wow's Miss Snoop Dogg. 10 TC. Got a lot of burns here. Got a lot of burns in this pedigree, not even just in this dog. Uh, on the bottom side, you know, when you see the burns, uh, Stumpy, and he green. Man, I got a dog on my bottom side, uh, I think through the walk -on stuff. And all this stuff right here lit up green with burns, Stumpy. Here goes Stumpy. Here goes Stumpy. So this wasn't a waste of a stop, but I'm really looking for... Uh, some garner stuff. I'm gonna show y'all the dog. I haven't really seen like that in pedigrees. Maybe you have. Let's look at Burn Snappy again. Like I said, my bottom side, we get to that in another pedigree viewing. All this lit up green with Burn Snappy. I think it's in the walk of my dogs or um, or my drama side stuff down there or that Zion stuff. Mr. Burns, Cruz. Oh man, Burns probably no kind of dog, man. I wouldn't, I wouldn't doubt it. NC is the game anyway. So I'll let y'all read it. That's Burns Stumpy. Two time winner, producer of Registry. Let y'all read it. Burns is that call him probably more than likely is from North Carolina. I'm not for sure though. Y'all Jeep, Jeep appears a lot of times this pedigree, so that ain't, ain't nothing new. Ooh, hold up. Let's see something. Uh oh. Let's see what it say about Pfeiffer's kitty. Four time winner, one time loser. A queen of a doll. She did it with class, also owned by Sack Kennel. Let's get up out of here. Let's get up out of here. I'm going um, longer than I planned. That proves my point again. Most of the pivotal dogs in game dog history, where they're giving the name, are slur against black people. Superior dogs. Superior people, children the most high. Niggas are the sons of Elohim. It ain't all just about the dog with me. Oh, you forgot? Oh, you forgot? Oh, you forgot? A lot of unknown stuff. Sparky. Henningberg Burgers. Mr. Toad. Sparks Hunky. Let's get up out of here though. Man, I'm gonna show y'all this uh, dog and I gotta get up out of here. Garrett's Cracker. Off of Carver's Cracker. Better, pretty much a tribute dog, I see. Fourth generation Carver's Cracker. That's not much of a reverse of slur towards, towards white people. Cause cracker is short for whip cracker. Well, they all just about the dogs and me, oh, you forgot? All right, let me get what I'm looking for. I, I, I ain't gonna drag this one out like that. It's something, um, is it in peanut butter? It's something I want to show. 
screw this amulet again. Zacharias and nice though, nice little setup back there it's in the woods somewhere. All right, uh, I can't find it. Where's uh, probably oh here we go. Solomon Grande. Here we go, Frisco China man stuff heavy. Look two five two look look black star. Two five two. Tell them I told these clowns, man. Tell them, baby, I I could throw a ride of bulldog here, man. You know what I'm saying? These heavy bulldog here materials right here. Two five two. My man might number still be active. He might know me. He might know my dog moves. He might know my. He might remember my dog moves. Two five two. But um. Anyway, um. Where's the dog? At? That's a nice dog, but this ain't what I'm talking about. This is a Cardina stuff. Breed of Bobby Bullet Sun Hall. Tight line kennels. It's, the, um, it's a beautiful dog. I want to see it. Um, and look in this one. It's somewhere in this pedigree. I just can't find it. It ain't China dog. These are nice dogs, though. Frisco China Man stuff. Find it. It's a Bobby Hall dog, beautiful specimen of a pit bull. It's somewhere in this pedigree. So let me click in it and see what can I do from there. Let me try bottom side first. Beautiful dog. I cannot find it. Oh, there it is. Cardina is a hog. Brujo, four time winner, one time loser. Beautiful dog. Come on, dog. Beautiful dog. This is his sire. This is my uh, bully son, Eli Jr., dog. Got some longs, tough in there. Check it out. Some arts missing. Also, longs, tough here. Did I? Long's baby pulled. I thought so. Long's tough. I mean, Long's. I'm tripping. He must be that Long's baby pulled her. See how that was real, real quick. I'm about to jump up out of here. Might sneak in my bottom side real quick. But this is uh, Cardenas and Hall's Brujo. Four time winner, one time loser. Owner Cardenas, a breeder and owner. Beautiful dog, beautiful dog. Beautiful dog, beautiful dog. That's a beautiful dog. Beautiful dog, beautiful dog. Call us Miss Cobra. Call us Frisco Rom. Said to be the best Rom or ever. Now they're saying this, I'm going to say arguably now because a lot of people are speaking out against that, but I don't know. That's what I was always taught coming up. A lot of guys had Frisco stuff uh, in my time. 252. 252. Burn, baby. Tell them Black Star. Snooty. I didn't ever get. I get to that another peg review, but I want to get to. Uh, I might get to it real quick. Get to it real quick. Um, I want to show how Mims. Uh, some of the, how he bred, how he did his stuff. Um. I want to get into some of that. I want to get into some of that. I 
I'm gonna get into some of this uh polio wood snooties breedings. I might have to do it another time. I ain't about to do this one too much longer. If I can go to it, oh if I can go to it. See, see, you know, I got the dog. That's Pal right there. That's my boy Pal right there, just over a year. You dig? So I'm going straight from his pedigree. Being that I uh, still got him under registry, it don't got the name on it. His name was, you might have heard him talking about uh, if he ever said something about the camel dog. That's what he's talking about. His name is Pal. Now, I got the uh, bona fide registry stuff and, um, he didn't uh, put the name on him because he had knew he was gonna sell him. But of course he named him. Uh, I might can get to it in due time. If not, I ain't fucked up about it. But I would like to uh, show y'all that heavy, heavy wood snooty. It's gonna clean up. Uh, Seeing this, corners be handy to look at him. See how it's bred. I want to show y'all some stacked up wood studio type stuff. Mm. And some mem stuff. I might have to go on my bottom. Let's go on my bottom. I'll, I'll tell you what, we can do it like this first. We can do it like this first. We can do it like this first. It's not my baby dog. I'm going back to that garner stuff. This is a heavy bread garner dog. Mm. How about here? Nope. That heavy garner stuff. Here we go on the store. Since we here, let's look at that. Since we here. Mm. Snake Man's Pedro, like I told y'all. So, and this ain't even what I'm talking about. I got some uh, fat beer line stuff. We'll do that on the next one. I got some fat beer line stuff in here. Well, uh, they did breeds with Pedro and the Bolero blood and stuff like that. But like I told y'all, Snake Man Pedro appears a lot in this pedigree. But um, uh, what um, what um, I like about it is with, through the fat beer breed, and I got in here. This dog is heavily scattered bread, so Lady Snooty. So can I get into this um, Mims bread stuff? If not, I had to do it on the next one. I'm already at 48 minutes. Don't want to go an hour. Don't really got the time. Just give me all a little treat, man. Here we go. You can do your home fun, too. You know the pedigree. So more than a lot, it's going to be in this dog. I got some more male stuff on the bottom. So hopefully it is in this dog. I want to show you all the, the heavy, uh, how he stacked up the snooty. He was heavy on the snooty and the bolio and... Red boy, heavy wood snooty. See it now. You got on this dog. I had just flipped through different dogs. This is Mills Briar. Let's back it up a little bit. Nah, I better not. Heavy red boy on top of it. So we got the red boy snooty shit right here. This dog, Mills Briar. Snooty bread and the moxie. And got some old school blood on top of that. Greenwood, Jimmy Boots. Some Heinzel, Hensel stuff. Heinzel stuff. Got Hannah Patch. That's kind of the same deal. See, kind of the same deal. 
and then live this. Bread at the Kobe stuff. Corvino's bread off, Nibbles Bucky McCoy. Nice dog. Severe game shit. I got that severe game shit. Just you got the same shit in your dog too, reprobate, for y'all say something. But it ain't bread like this. One guy was up all <laughs> it's blood 25 years ago from the source. You don't got it now. That shit in somebody backyard pushing up daisies. I got it now. Not now, but right now. Don't hate, man. Participate, man. Still. I still stood, man. I ain't fucked up about it. I can't stress that enough. I ain't fucked up about it. I ain't fucked up about it. So this is the Red Boy uh, Brewer's Vindicator. appears a lot in this dog's pedigree. I got this pick and the other, uh, the pick of them. No, this is, oh, this is another pick of Vindicator. I think it is. I think it is. Oh, don't, 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 uh, quote me on that. And I skipped over there. I'll show that y'all next time. Heavy Zebo in the dog pedigrees that I got that stuff in. It actually says a Zebo dog, but I done skipped over that because I wanted to get into some of this mem stuff. You know what I'm saying? Bonafide, you dig? For right now. And we got this bread like this. And this is in Mims Briar. Might have just did that. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. See how that's bread, heavy red boy. I think we got a heavy, throw this heavy snooty dog in there. You dig? You throw that heavy bolio in there. That wood snooty on the back of it. I got some wood snooty shit in here, fucking with, uh, dealing with Mims. Heavy red boy smooth studi, scatter bread in the pedigree bolio, then vice versa and just mixed and matched, man. So he didn't do a lot of the uh, red boy jocko. I think people might have did it on their own, mixing and matching, adding in. But his, uh, I don't think he used jocko um, like that. I think he used the pure red boy, red boy snooty, and Indian bolio. So I got a lot of that. This is what I wanted to see. We got that in, uh, I think that was in Hard Attack. This is old school, bro. He's Sultan's King Solomon. Sire, Mims, Carolina, Flo Wrong. Damn off of Mims, uh, Stepper. Stepper. Step, I know that's right. A Stepper. OG Giggity. Steppers. Yeah, them Steppers, man. We had them steppers early, man. So we got a Mims hard tap. We already saw that it was a bolio dog. Wood snooty bolio dog. Mims ricochet, wood snooty. Brewers vindicator again. We brewers Rosie, Lonzo, Andy appears a lot of times in this pedigree. Whole Lonzo line is in here and like one dog if I can find it, but I don't got the time to right now. I'm about to back up out the whole program right now. Y'all see what it is with me. Ain't nothing new to me. NC is the game. NC is the game. Wilson's Roxy. Was side by Brewers Vindicator. Double grandson of Lonzo's Andy and uh, grand uh, dam of Lonzo's Angie. Let's look at the backside of things. That's a good one, Bills. You know, you know what it is when you see that. You know what it is when you see that. All right. You know what it is when you see that. A 
to show y'all that. I want to see the dogs, man. I got some shit, some meal shit in here, man. And it might have been on um, bread down from some meal stuff. It's my heavy snooty bolio. It's one of those bridges. I got a picture of Miss um, Marlowe and uh, Carl Mims. No reprobate. I didn't take the picture myself back in the day, man. Come on, man. I got it offline, man. Damn. Do your research, man. You can get shit like that. Stop hating so goddamn much. I'm gonna have to show y'all some of these doors later, man. I just went to church, back to my mill stuff. Come on, uh, my guy, um, he ain't getting to the mill stuff like that. See, I'm getting to the stuff that made me, um, get into the bloodline. Marlowe's fanny. Heavy red boy stuff here. This is a heavy red boy, red boy Jocko. And most of the Red Boy Jocko come on the bottom. Let's get into that Zion stuff before I get out of here. See, Croatia, uh, I showed y'all Croatia in another door. I didn't even go to the bottom of the pedigree. Y'all didn't go past drama side. I got Zion back row. I got Zion back row kennels. Then it comes out the drama side. See, I didn't even go all down here. See, like I try to tell y'all. See, I got uh, Scotes. White hair in the door several times. So you know what that is, handy uh, handicap. I got bulls come dump, so I got heavy handicap. To put the queen in there. See, I didn't even show y'all that. I showed y'all Croatia. It wasn't in this pedigree. It was at the bottom of a pedigree, remember? I'm gonna go to that pedigree. It's up top of that. That's the drama side stuff. So I got heavy uh, Croatia dogs. Southern Canterbury dogs. New Zion back road kennel star. Hogs and the cap on the top, his fourth generation. So my dog was well bred. Got a back road kennel capone. The pit island stuff. A lot of my real boy Jocko's come stuff up. Come there's some, some up top too. I ain't about to go back up there, but I got real boy Jocko heavy in his dog. Red, heavy real boy Jocko dogs. Got Tans Red Devil again. Heavy. A lot of Tans Red Devil. Pen Island Tina too. Tans Triple A. Yeah, a little talking about him a lot. Got some of that in here too. STP Sassy. Miss Jocko. I just like how that sound always like that, Miss Jocko. Two time winner and verse to a mirror. You can't beat it. Tan Triple A, producer of registry. Brenda Red Bull Dog. Just like Marlo's Brandy Girl. This is Red Bull Jocko, though. Sammy A. Raz Boomer. I think I got Cotton Hounds Boomer in here, too. Do that walk them all crazy eyes. That's enough for now, reprobates. I might give y'all a couple of more clicks. Got Chavis and Cheyenne, hit more memes. That's probably where that stuff. Uh oh, that's where it comes in. 
Ah! NC is the game, man. He's got a lot of memes, man. It's probably that crazy uh, meme shit come here that I probably had to go through it. That shit, I got some shit here. Heavy woods do the bolio. I'll show y'all reprobates another time. Come about to get up out of here. We'll get these though. That's Lucas again. And when we seen this at the top of the pedigree, but it's in here though. It just got it. I don't got time to click dogs, man, for the reprobates, man. You see the dog is well bred. You see the dog is heavy red boy. Red boy Jocko. Red boy at the basis of the dog. Wood Snooty. Kai's Bullet. I ain't even got into my Zebo stuff. You see some of my um Lonzo line, you see some of my Vindicator. So I still got a lot more to show. Got a few more pedigree viewers into it, man. I break it down a, a, a little bit better every time, man. But you gotta learn how to read a pedigree yourself, man, because this is best the best, best the best, best the best. These are the best dogs breeding from North Carolina and all over the Southeast and all over America. You dig? I'll show y'all the heavy wood snooty bolio stuff another time. But you see, I got wood snooty a lot of times, this pedigree, a lot of red boy snooty. I ain't show y'all the woods, uh, red boy. You know, Mr. Grimms didn't play. You know, Mr. Carl Mims didn't play with it. He didn't play with that snooty red boy stuff. He didn't play with it, man. He didn't play with the heavy red boy stuff, man. These are North Carolina dogs. These are North Carolina dogs, man. These are North Carolina dogs, man. North Carolina dogs, man. These are North Carolina dogs, man. North Carolina dogs, man. These Aries. Breeders shake them up. You already know what it is. But you already know what it is, man. MC is the game. NC is the game. Mad Mims shit. My shit. A lot of my shit bred down from Mims. Bring all that Mims Bolio stuff next time. I got the time right now, man. I don't got the time. I got some wood snooty. I know I got some wood, wood snooty stuff. This is a heavy scatterbread dog, best to best. This is a red boy, red boy Jocko dog. Scatterbred, lime bread and inbred, cotton's bullet. Molly B. Zebo. Fat Bill, I'm gonna show y'all the Zebo and the Fat Bill. I got a dog that's close to this dog's first generational page pedigree on the fourth generation. When I click the dog, it's gonna say it's a Zebo dog. It's gonna say it's a Zebo dog, man. It's gonna say it's a Zebo dog, man. That's what it's gonna say, man. We can get into that, though. We can get into it. This is Mims Jill. I gotta get ready to go, man. Like I was saying about the end this one. Hollinsworth. Got a lot of Hollinsworth stuff in here too. Uh, I ain't gonna get into my book. So this is one one I'm just show y'all a book. I did bring that up in a previous video. I got a lot of bulk in this dog too. A lot of uh STP's bulk in this dog. Heavy Patrick bread, heavy Patrick breeding. So STP boat up here a lot of time. But I gotta say something for y'all reprobates. You can have something to reprobate about. Excuse me. I got guys to comment. Uh, let me book again. Got guys to comment. Man, I had that blood 25 years ago. Man, I had that blood 25 years ago from the source. This, this, need this, 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 this,
take your skirt off, B. Got Patrick Luther Tater, man. Bread down for Patrick Tater. Oh, where is he? No. Down the line, probably. We'll get into that another time, though. Heavy Indian Bolio. Got Bull Boy Ball. Wrong. Like I was telling you, reprobates, this dog is a heavy red boy dog. Red boy Jocko dog. Wood Snooty. After that, it's got to be best to best. Best to best. Best to best. I got heavy bulk dogs in this. I didn't show y'all heavy uh, lawn bread and inbred queen of hearts and Andy Cap. In the same breedings. I done show you heavy boys. I done show you a lot of mims. You know what I'm saying? I done show y'all a lot of Indian bolio. I done showed y'all a lot of Eli stuff, a lot of Eli Jr. bully son stuff. I done show y'all heavy garner breeding. You understand what I'm saying? It's so much more. I, I can't think of everything at one time. I, I said the heavy college bullet, do posse stuff. NC is the game. I showed y'all how, um, the dog is inbred, livebred, cotton bullet. It is what it is, man. It is what it is, man. Like I said, I ain't fucked up about it. I ain't, I ain't fucked up about it. But that's enough for you reprobates. I get you reprobates another time. <laughs>